Hey love, so I just got back from Target and um, also I stopped by at Barnes & Noble so I just thought I'd show you guys really quickly things that I picked up. I know this is going to be on my vlog channel and it's kind of haul-like and usually um, I'm more interactive on my vlog channels and I kind of bring me around and show you guys what I do. So um, just to make it a little bit different, just so you guys know, um, I'm actually um, uploading, whoops, almost dropped you guys. So um, I'm actually uploading a couple of my videos um, onto my computer right now to be edited. And also in the background right here, this is um, Beats of an MC. Um, many of you guys, if you know Riss Rose too, this is basically her vlog. So I was watching that a little bit ago, but I started uploading um some videos that I had on my memory card just so I can have them edited and uploaded and then I'm actually have you guys sitting on top of this wet ones right here but anyways so that's why this is going to be on my vlog channel because it wasn't really a planned video that I was going to do but with um, all that said I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into the things that I'm gonna show you guys so I basically went to Target and I went there because um, since I did my past couple of videos with my sister on my main channel, um, I'm going to be doing some videos with my brother as well. As many of you guys know, I'm really, really close with my brother and my sister. They are my very best friends in the entire world and I love them to death. So I really wanted to share that with you guys and have my channel reflect how close I truly am with my family. So I decided I want to do some videos with my brother and my brother is wild and crazy and he's a little hilarious as you guys will see in those upcoming videos. So. I decided to not do anything kind of, not boring, but something that really shows the way um, my brother's personality is. So I decided we are going to do some challenges. So the first challenge that I thought would be fun to do is of course the chubby buddy challenge. So um, I picked up some jet puffed large marshmallows. So um, me and my brother are going to be doing that. Also, very recently, I watched on Joy Graceffa's channel. Um, him and one of his um, friends, they just did a bunch of challenges, like just an ultimate challenge video, and I thought it was really funny. And um, just something like that would be really fun to do with my brother. So any, I, anyways, I bought those marshmallows, and then I also picked up a bunch of baby food because I thought it would be fun for me and my brother to do the baby food challenge. So... Let me just go through all of the baby foods that I picked up. So the first one is, um, this is organic baby food. This is Earth's Best Organic. This is um, plum banana and brown rice. That sounds delicious. Um, we also have summer vegetable dinner. Can you guys see the color on that? That's probably going to be really tasty too. I know it'll be funny to do these with my brother because I'm pretty sure my reactions and my brother's reactions and just the things that we're going to end up saying and how we interact with each other is just going to end up being really funny. So I thought it'd be hilarious. What else do we have? Oh, we have ham and ham gravy. Um, um, a lot of videos with the baby food challenge, I saw them um, eat the beef with beef gravy and also turkey with turkey gravy and chicken with chicken gravy. But I haven't seen anyone do ham yet, so decided to pick up the ham. What else do I have in here? More organic ones. I have bananas, peaches, and raspberries. That one actually does sound um, pretty good, so I'm pretty sure that one will be okay. What else do we have? We have um, harvest squash turkey. Um, some of these ones that are like an entire meal in a jar, that doesn't really sound too appealing to me, so I don't know too much about that. What else do we have? We have apple yogurt oatmeal. And then I bought a bunch of these little squeezy tube type ones. So I have banana baby food and apple baby food. So these are the up and up Target brand ones. And I also got some pear and pea and apple and carrot. So I figured we'd use these ones kind of um, as chasers for the other ones, um, especially the apple and banana. These probably won't taste too bad. So any of the ones that we are, are a little more nasty tasting, I'm pretty sure we'll try to like chase them down with these little squeezy two ones, the ones that taste better anyways. I don't know how much we're going to want to chase our baby food down with pear and pea. That, I don't know. <laughs> I 
and then um, all the baby food um, since I ha do have a Target card and I had an extra 5% off, um, everything totaled um, to only be $9.46. So less than $10 to pick up all this ba baby food. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six jars of regular baby food and then um, four of the little squeezy tube ones. So I think it's a good variety of baby food. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that video when um, me and my brother um, do have time to film it and put it up for you guys. So I'm really excited about doing that. And then also while I was at Target, I decided just to pick up some um, hair goods. Um, I'm sure this would probably be better on my actual beauty channel, but um, I don't know. If any of you guys do watch my main channel, you'd probably be here on my vlog channel anyways. The ones who like really watch me like um, religiously, I guess you can say. I don't know. Just the ones, people who are really interested in seeing all my videos, you will end up here on my vlogs anyway. So anyways, I picked up some more bobby pins and these are ones for black hair. And I really like how this these ones come with really dark black ones and also deep brown ones. Because also with my hair being ombre, um, my roots are a lot more like really dark black, but towards the ends of my hair, I'm more of a brown to a lighter brown. So I thought um, just getting these particular black bobby pins would be a lot better just because it just has the different shades in them. And depending on where in my hair I'm trying to put the bobby pin, it'll actually work a lot better for me. So I got those bobby pins. Then I also picked up some clear elastics. Um, I find that I like to use these on my hair a lot more, especially since my hair is ombre now. I like using clear elastics like this in my hair because it kind of lets the color stand through more rather than when I use a black hair tie, it really stands out against my hair color and it kind of just like breaks it up. When I, when I use a clear hair tie, it kind of just goes through better and I like the look of it a lot more. And then, sorry, I don't know why I have all these baby food still on my lap. I'm just going to put it on the floor. Anyways, so I also picked up um, from Goody. I have some, what are these? These are ponytailers and also bracelets, even though I don't know if I actually wear these as bracelets. But there's three gold ones. I've seen these before in silver, and I thought the silver ones looked interesting, but I'm much more of a gold wear, wear obviously. Gold is more of my thing. I think it's because of my complexion. I'm more warm toned than I am cool toned so I just find myself being more drawn to um, gold accessories. So anyways, so these are really cool. I thought it, whenever I'm doing like side ponytails or um, side braids or anything just to wrap this around the little um, like right in here on my hair it will actually look a lot nicer and draw more attention to the hairband and it will make just a really easy classic ponytail look a lot more polished and dressed up so I really like these I think they're really cool and then on top of that I also have the um, ones that are hair bands um, or head wraps kind of headbands or necklaces and this one comes with a silver and a gold one so um, I believe Dulce Candy um, 87 she was the first person um, in her videos I saw using these and I think these are like really really cool just Depending on whatever you're wearing, if you want to add a little extra special like um, like shine or just a little extra piece to your actual overall hair. Like right now I have nothing in my hair right now, but say I wanted my hair out of my face, I could throw on one of these headbands and then I'll bring my hair back out and then I'll just kind of have the nice little gold sitting on top of my hair and it'll just look a lot nicer and kind of just pull my outfit and just enhance my hair just a little bit more. So. Yeah, I guess that is everything that I have to show you guys. So this is kind of mixed like vlog also slash haul video slash baby food updates with future videos, anything you want to call it. But I guess that's it. Oh no, I forgot. I also picked up some books. So um, most of you guys know that I'm a really big bookworm and I like reading a lot. And um, the last series that I just finished was the Fifty Shades of Grey series. Um, I put up a Fifty Shades tag that I did with my sister um, a little while ago. But um, since I finished Fifty Shades, I really wanted to get back into reading and just um, find something new to read. As many of you know, I'm really into dystopian novels. So the two new books that I pick up are particularly dystopian novels. Let me grab them. So I went to Barnes and Noble and um, since I have the Barnes and Noble membership card, I got 10% um, off my books. So 
Um, these books are both originally $17.99 because I prefer to get hardback books um, because I'm a really big reader and I've read a lot of books and when I do own my own home and start my own family I do want to have my own library filled with books that I have read in my home and I really do prefer to buy books in hardback. I have all of my Harry Potter books that I read when I was younger in hardback copies as well as the Twilight books I have in hardback copies. I just really prefer hardback books and I don't know it's just I don't know for a book lover I think you probably guys you know what it uh, what it feels like to have the actual book just tangible in your hand and I don't know it just feels a lot better to me so I just prefer it like that. So anyways, the first book that I picked up was this book called Once, and this is the second book in the Eve series, and this is by Anna Carey. So I actually discovered this book, I believe, Juicy Star 07 or Blair. She uh, mentioned the first book, Eve, in one of her videos a while back, and um, she said if you liked the Hunger Games series, um, you will definitely like the Eve series, and she was absolutely correct. I really did like the first Eve book, but when I finished it, it was a few months ago, and I was so bummed that the next book wouldn't come out until July. So um, I remembered that this book was coming out in July, so I immediately headed down to um, Barnes & Noble with the idea of picking up this book and I'm so glad that I found it and I just picked up the copy. So I started reading this last night. I'm only on the second chapter so because I was really tired last night but I usually like reading before I go to bed and I usually um, read a lot more of this but I was just so exhausted that I couldn't really read it. But so far so good. The first two chapters were really good in my opinion but um, I'm just really excited about um, continuing reading this because it's a really good book so far and I really loved the first book, Eve, so um, you guys know that I'm really into dystopian novels and if any of you guys um, like reading dystopian novels as well, I would definitely recommend the Eve series. And next I picked up the book Divergent, so I've heard so many good things about this book um, just from people in general and also all over YouTube. Um, I've just heard so many good things about this and again I'm really into dystopian novels. so. I decided to read this one. I'm probably going to be reading through my um, Eve book once first and then I'll get into this but I'm really excited to um, start reading this one as well. So um, I don't really know what I want my vlog channel to become but as of right now um, it's kind of up in the air what I can do because I know most people who do have vlog channels it's just for vlogging and for people who can do vlogging every single day and the vlogs that I have done in the past they were really easy but sometimes I just forget and sometimes I just you know I can't bring myself to remember to constantly have my camera on me to be filming and doing it throughout the day and I just kind of feel like I'm neglecting my vlog channel so I kind of feel like my vlogs will just be every once in a while just when I do remember and I do feel like doing a vlog and being able to bring you guys with me because if I don't really plan it out I feel like I don't like the quality of the way things turn out and I don't know I guess I'm kind of a perfectionist in a way and I don't think I can constantly like bring you guys along with me and just feel bad but oh no I forgot to show you guys this or I can't show you guys that it just I don't know I'm just a perfectionist in that way and especially um, with my experience on YouTube this past year, just the way my beauty channels run and how I plan out every single video that I do and I sit down and I film and I plan and everything, just the way my planning, uh, my filming schedule is for my beauty channel is just so different than what I expect my vlog channel to be. Okay, I'm sorry my camera cut out on you because I ran out of battery, but I am um, editing right now, so I'm going to go ahead and just... Whoa! Ah, I dropped my camera! Okay, yeah, don't use wet ones as a camera stand. That is the lesson of the day. But anyway, so I guess I'll go ahead and just end this vlog right now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye!